Time is ticking as Congress faces a crucial deadline. So there's the continuing resolution, which is what's funding the government, is set to expire at the end of September. Uh, and if that happens, then we'll have a government shutdown. In the case of a shutdown, the government would still run, but only providing what it considers as essential services. This includes services related to human safety. So how would a shutdown impact our veterans? Vice President Heather Ansley of Vets First, a program of the United Spinal Association assisting veterans and their families, says that most benefits will be covered. Well, thankfully, through the services through the Department of Veterans Affairs in many ways are insulated from the, the budgetary process because veterans' benefits are um, what's called mandatory spending, which means they have to pay it. While benefits such as Social Security and health care fall into that category, there are some benefits that do not. Um, you know, on the benefit side can be claims processors. While, while checks go out, um, people that are there working new claims, you know, there may be some delay in new claims being uh, brought in, um, you know, getting claims moved through the process. As the partisan conflict in Congress continues, Ansley, like many others, hope for a resolution. For most of us, it really just is about getting the needs of, in this case, making sure our veterans are taken care of. And we just want folks to remember that it's as simple as that. In Washington, for BUTV, this is Brittany Exum reporting.